Om Shanti. Today is Tuesday, the 13th of February, 2024. On this Tuesday morning, let us listen to the Sakar Murli from our beloved Bab Dada. Bab Dada Madhuvan. Essence. Sweet children, become bodiless and remember the father. Remain stable in your original religion and you will receive strength. You will remain happy and healthy and your battery will continue to become full. Essence once again on this Tuesday morning, Baba says, Sweet children, become bodiless and remember the father. Remain stable in your original religion and you will receive strength. You will remain happy and healthy and your battery will continue to become full. Today's question, by knowing what it is that is fixed in the drama, how do you children remain constantly unshakable? The question that Baba asks is, by knowing what it is that is fixed in the drama, how do you children remain constantly unshakable? In answer, Baba says, you know that the bombs etc. that have been made will definitely be used. Only when destruction takes place will our new world come. This is eternally fixed in the drama. Everyone has to die. You have the happiness that you will shed your old bodies and take birth in a kingdom. You watch the drama as detached observers. There is no question of fluctuating. There is no need to cry. Om Shanti The father sits here and asks you children, why was the original eternal deity religion called the Hindu religion? You should first find the answer to that. At first, there was just the original eternal deity religion. Then, when they became vicious, they could no longer call themselves deities. So, instead of calling themselves deities of the original eternal religion, they started to call themselves the original eternal Hindus. They still kept the words original and eternal. They just changed the name deities and called themselves Hindus. So what is Baba saying? Instead of calling themselves deities of the original eternal religion, they started to call themselves the original eternal Hindus. They still kept the words original and eternal. They just changed the name deities and called themselves Hindus. At the time when those of Islam came from outside, they used the name of the Hindu religion. At first, there wasn't even the name Hindustan. So, you should understand it as the original eternal Hindu deity religion. Generally, they are righteous souls. Not all of them are of the eternal religion. Those who come later would not be said to belong to the original and eternal religion. Baba says, among Hindus too, there must be some who come later. You should tell the original eternal Hindus that theirs was the original eternal deity religion. Say, you were the original eternal Satopradhan beings and then while taking rebirth, you became Tamopradhan. You now have to become Satopradhan once again by having the pilgrimage of remembrance. They will like this medicine. Baba is the surgeon. You should give this medicine to those who like it. You should remind those who belonged to the original eternal deity religion of this, just as you children have now been reminded. Baba has explained how you have become Tamo Pradhan from Sato Pradhan. You now have to become Sato Pradhan from Tamo Pradhan. You children are becoming Sato Pradhan through the pilgrimage of remembrance. Those who are the original eternal Hindus will become the real deities and they will also become those who worship the deities. In that too, those who are the devotees of Shiva, Lakshmi and Narayan, Radhe and Krishna and Rama and Sita are the devotees of the deities and belong to the deity clan. You have now remembered that those who were the Sun dynasty then became the Moon dynasty. Therefore, you should find those devotees. You should ask those who came here to understand to fill in a form. What is Baba saying? That whom, which are the devotees whom we should find? Those who are devotees of Shiva, Lakshmi and Narayan, Radhe and Krishna and Rama and Sita 
are the devotees of the deities and belong to the deity clan. You have now remembered that those who were the Sun dynasty then became the Moon dynasty. Therefore, Baba says you should find those devotees. You should ask those who come here to understand to fill in a form. There should definitely be forms at the main centers for people to fill in. You would give a lesson from the beginning to whoever comes because they don't know the father. The first and main thing to explain to them is you don't know your senior father. Baba says originally you belonged to the father from beyond. You came here and now belong to a worldly father. You have forgotten your father from beyond. The unlimited father is the creator of heaven. None of these innumerable religions exist there. So everything should depend on the forms that they fill in. Although some children explain very well, they don't have any yoga at all. They don't become bodiless or remember the father. They are unable to stay in remembrance. Although they know that they explain very well and that they even open museums etc. They still have very little remembrance. Baba says it requires effort to consider yourself to be a soul and to continue to remember the father. The father gives you a warning. Do not think that you can convince others very well. What is the benefit of that? Okay, so what if they have become spinners of the discus of self-realization? Here you have to become bodiless. While performing actions, consider yourselves to be souls. It is souls that carry out all tasks through their bodies. Those who don't know how to remember this or don't even know how to think about these things are called buddhus. So, what is Baba saying? It is souls that carry out all tasks through their bodies. Those who don't know how to remember this or don't even know how to think about these things are called buddhus. You are unable to remember the father. You don't have the strength to do service. How can a soul receive strength without having remembrance? How can this battery become full? So, Baba says, instead of moving along, that soul will come to a halt. He will have no power. It is said, religion is might. Only when a soul remains stable in his original religion can he receive strength. There are many who don't know how to remember the father. You can tell this from their faces. They would remember everyone else but would be unable to have remembrance of the father. Only by having yoga will you receive strength. Only by having remembrance will you have a lot of happiness and health. Then in your next birth you will receive shining new bodies. When you souls become pure you will receive pure bodies. It is said, this gold is 24 karat and so the jewellery made from it is also 24 karat. At this time, all are 9 karat gold. Those who are Sato Pradhan are said to be 24 karat gold and those who are Sato are said to be 22 karat gold. These things have to be understood very well. So, Sato Pradhan is 24 karat and Sato is 22 karat. The father explains to you, first of all, you have to ask them to fill in a form so that you can tell to what extent they respond to you and how much they have imbibed. Even then, it comes to, do they stay on the pilgrimage of remembrance? Only by having the pilgrimage of remembrance, do you become Sato Pradhan from Tamo Pradhan. Those are physical pilgrimages of devotion, whereas this pilgrimage is spiritual. So, what is Baba saying? Those are physical pilgrimages of devotion, whereas this pilgrimage is spiritual. Here, it is souls that go on pilgrimage, whereas in other pilgrimages, both the spirit and the body go on pilgrimage. By remembering the purifier father, you receive, you souls receive that sparkle. You souls receive that sparkle. If a student has to be shown and be impressed, Baba sometimes enters someone, both the mother and father help, sometimes in knowledge and sometimes in yoga. The father is always bodiless. He has no awareness of the body. So, the father can help you with the strength of both.
मीनिंग नॉलेज एंड योग बाबा से इज इफ यू डू नॉट हैव योग इफ यू हैव नो योग हाउ कैन यू रिसीव दैट स्ट्रेंथ इट कैन बी अंडरस्टूड वेदर सम वन इज योगी और ज्ञानी बाबा एक्सप्लेन्स न्यू थिंग्स डे बाई डे अबाउट योग प्रीवियसली ही डिंट एक्सप्लेन दिस कंसिडर योर सेल्व टू बी सोल्स एंड रिमेंबर द फादर बाबा नाउ अपलिफ्ट यू सो पावरफुली दैट द रिलेशनशिप ऑफ ब्रदर एंड सिस्टर इज रिमूव एंड दर इज जस्ट द विजन ऑफ ब्रदरहुड वी सोल्स आर ब्रदर्स दिस इज अ वेरी एलिवेटेड विजन दिस एफर्ट हैज टू कंटिन्यू टिल द एंड Baba says when you become satu pradhan you will shed your bodies therefore increase your efforts as much as possible this is even easier for old people we now definitely have to return home young ones would never have such thoughts old people are in the stage of retirement it is understood that you now have to return home so you have to understand all these aspects of knowledge the tree continues to grow as it grows the whole tree becomes ready thorns are changed and a small new tree of flowers has to be created it will become new and then become old again at first the tree is small and it then continues to grow it grows until the end when it has thorns at first there are flowers the very name is heaven then later that fragrance and strength no longer remain so baba is giving us the example of the growth of a tree baba says at first there are flowers the very name is heaven then later that fragrance and strength no longer remain there is no fragrance in thorns ordinary flowers don't have that much fragrance the father is the master of the garden and also the boatman he takes everyone's boat across the children who are wise and sensible are able to understand how he takes the boat across and where he takes you those who don't understand don't even make effort it is number wise baba says some aeroplanes travel faster than sound no one even knows how a soul flies a soul flies even faster than a rocket there is nothing as fast as a soul they put such fuel in those rockets that they are able to fly fast they have prepared so many armaments for destruction they even carry bombs on the steamers and aeroplanes so baba says at this time they have made all the preparations in advance they write in the newspapers we cannot say that we will not use those bombs they continue to say that it is possible that they will use those bombs all of these preparations are being made destruction definitely has to take place Baba says it is impossible for the bombs not to be used and for destruction not to take place. So what is Baba saying? All the preparations are being made. Destruction definitely has to take place. It is impossible for the bombs not to be used and for destruction not to take place. Baba says a new world is definitely needed for you. This is fixed in the drama. This is why you should have a lot of happiness. It is said death to the prey and happiness for the hunter according to the drama everyone has to die because you children have the knowledge of the drama you do not fluctuate but observe everything as detached observers what do we do we do not fluctuate but observe everything as detached observers baba says there is no need to cry everyone has to shed their body at their own time You souls know that you will take your next birth in a kingdom. I will become a prince. The soul knows this and therefore sheds a body and takes another. Even a snake has a soul. It would say I am shedding one skin and taking another. At some time even that will shed its body and become a baby snake again. Children do take birth. Everyone has to take rebirth. All of these things have to be churned. the main thing is to remember the father with a lot of love baba says just as children cling to their mother and father in the same way you souls also have to cling firmly to the father with your intellect's yoga each of you has to check yourself as to what extent you are imbibing knowledge there is the example of narad devotees cannot become deities 
until they take this knowledge. It is not just a question of marrying Lakshmi. Baba says it is a question of understanding. You children know that when you were Satopradhan, you ruled over the world. You now have to remember the father in order to become Satopradhan again. You have been making effort every cycle. In order to have real yoga, Baba says you have been making effort every cycle to have real yoga in order to accumulate real power. Each one of you can understand to what extent you are able to explain to others and accumulate real power. Let's hear that again. Baba says, you children know that when you were Satopradhan, you ruled over the world. You now have to remember the father in order to become Satopradhan again. You have been making effort every cycle to have real yoga in order to accumulate real power. Each one of you can understand to what extent you are able to explain to others and to what extent you are emerging out of body consciousness. I, this soul, leave one body and take another. I, this soul, work through this body. These are my organs. We are all actors playing our parts. This is a huge play in this unlimited drama. All the actors in this drama are number wise. We can understand who the main actors are in this, who the first, second and third grades are. You children have come to know the beginning, the middle and the end of the drama from the father. You receive this knowledge of the creation from the creator. The creator comes and explains the secrets of himself and his creation. This is his chariot that he has entered. You would therefore say, that there are two souls in this one. It is a common thing to invoke a departed soul and offer that soul food when he comes. Previously, many used to come in this way and be asked questions. They have now become Tamo Pradhan. Even now, some are able to tell you who they were in their previous birth. No one is able to tell you about the future. They can only tell you about the past. Not everyone can be trusted in this. Baba says, Sweet children, you now have to remain in silence. When you become strong in knowledge and yoga, you will become firm and solid. So what is Baba saying? Sweet children, you now have to remain in silence. When you become strong in knowledge and yoga, you will become firm and solid. At the moment, many of you children are innocent. The deities who were the residents of Bharat were very solid. They were overflowing with wealth. Now they are empty. They were solvent, whereas you have become insolvent. You know that Bharat, you know what Bharat used to be and what it has now become. People will die of starvation because there will be no grain, water or anything. Some places will continue to be flooded and other places will not even have a drop of water. At this time, there are clouds of sorrow. In the golden age, there will be clouds of happiness. Only you children understand this play. No one else knows this. It is very good to explain using the badge. One is a limited physical father, whereas that one is the unlimited physical father, sorry, the unlimited father from beyond. Baba says, one is a limited physical father, whereas that one is the unlimited father from beyond. Only once at this confluence age does this father give you the unlimited inheritance and create the new world. This world is iron aged and it will definitely become golden aged. You are now at the confluence. If your heart is clean, your desires are fulfilled. So Baba says one is a limited physical father whereas that one is the unlimited father from beyond. Only once at this confluence age does this father give you the unlimited inheritance and create the new world. This world is iron aged and it will definitely become golden aged. You are now at the confluence. If your heart is clean, your desires are fulfilled. Ask yourself every day. Did I do anything bad? Did I have any vicious thoughts inside me about anyone? Did I remain in the intoxication of knowing who I am? 
or did I waste my time in gossiping? The father's order is, remember me alone. If you do not have remembrance, you are disobeying the father. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bhaptada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children and we the spiritual children also say Namaste to our spiritual father. Today's essence for dharana has two points. The first point, stay in the intoxication of knowledge and yoga and keep your heart clean. Do not waste your time in waste thoughts or in gossiping. Second point, we souls are brothers, we now have to return home. Practice this very firmly. Become bodiless, stabilize yourself in your original religion and remember the Father. Today's blessing, may you be filled with divinity and develop the power of truth by recognizing your own true form and that of the Father. Blessing once again, may you be filled with divinity and develop the power of truth by recognizing your own true form and that of the Father. Baba explains, the children who recognize their own form and accurately know the true introduction of the father can develop the power of truth by being aware of that form. Every thought of theirs is then constantly filled with truth and divinity. There is the experience of divinity in their every thought, word, act, relationship and connection. There is no need to prove the truth. When there is the power of truth, the soul continues to dance in happiness. Finally, the slogan for today, Do the service of giving Sakash and any problems will easily run away. Slogan once again on this Tuesday morning, Do the service of giving Sakash and any problems will easily run away. Acha Om Shanti